Just a real quick video here. If you haven't seen the big study I did debunking Ken Hoven's book right here, I get into more detail on this, but uh, a lot of people say that the post-trib pre-wrath rapture is the historic position of the church. Well, I'm actually going to show you the man who basically founded this philosophy of a post-trib pre-wrath rapture. And uh, it's this book right here, Marvin Rosenthal, The Pre-Wrath Rapture of the Church. Okay, this is the oldest one in print that's out there on this specific subject. I'm going to show you that he's actually honest about the timing of this philosophy. Let's look at this. And I showed this in my other study and got into a little bit more detail. I'm not going to get into much here. But um, here he says, this is page 265. 265, right there. Chapter 19, the pre-wrath rapture, why this view now? It's a new view, in other words. Perhaps at this point an important question must be answered. If the thesis of this book is correct, if the church is to be raptured pre-wrath at the opening of the seventh seal, and therefore sometime within the second half of the 70th week of Daniel, why has this position never been enunciated before? Why only after more than 1900 years into the church age does this view appear on the scene? Is it simply a new and fanciful position set forth by an extremist? This is a legitimate issue deserving a satisfactory response. Okay, he just admitted to you it's brand new. Okay, over here, this is page 293. He says, within two years, many men will be teaching the pre-wrath rapture. Within five years, it will be a recognized position. And if God pleases, within 15 years, it will become a major position of the believing church if God gives that many years. You say, when was this book written? Certainly before 1830, you know, because that's when the pre-trib rapture started, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, sure. Uh, no, it's actually 1990 is when this book was written. And let me show you an even newer book right here written by a real nut and I'm going to be definitely debunking this nonsense 1996 oh that's very very new hmm but this is the historic position of the church the historic position right there and of course you know this dimwit here says that you know, Christians are here for the entire Daniel 70th week, even though the Bible plainly says it's for Israel, back in Daniel chapter 9. Uh, so this knucklehead says, oh, we're going to be here for it. And then the Jews go into the Millennial Kingdom, and that's when God's wrath comes down on them. So Jesus rules for 997 years, not 1,000 years, like the Bible says in Revelation chapter 20. But, you know, who cares about details, right? And this guy over here says, no, the church is here for the first part, and then gets raptured out uh, halfway through the thing, you know. A bunch of nonsense but you see this is the the foundation of it and this is the philosophy that's messed up a very fine man of God Ken Hovind all right very 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 disgusting very sickening that these guys are coming out just here in these I mean you know 1990s and they're saying we have the historic position of the church well the Catholic Church yes they do that is true the Catholic Church teaches that the church is going to go through a time of, of uh, ultimate trial, the ultimate trial of the church and the purification of Christ's church. That's where it comes from. It doesn't come from the King James Bible. 